Hey guys, what is up? It is Omega SMG coming at you with a new video, and this is a serum tutorial and how to make some good trap bells. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the current pattern so that you guys have a basic idea. I have that Drake Moog style bass going in the background so that you can hear it, and I just have basic melody over it, so. So, as it is right now, the sound isn't that bad, but we can do better. We can do much better. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a bell curvature on it. So, this is some really light attack so it doesn't have that really terrible popping sound. And turn up the decay, hold down, sustain down, and turn up the release. So, it turned into this. So, already a lot better in my opinion, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it to basic shapes, and yeah, it's just the same thing, but it's a sine wave. However, what I'm going to do in order to make the best trap bell possible is I'm actually going to get into FM synthesis, so let's pull up a triangle wave, because triangle waves and sine waves are really similar, so doing FM synthesis with a triangle wave instead of a sine wave will actually give your bell more character, so let's go ahead and get to this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. That's what it sounds like now, FM from B, I'm going to turn this up to about 36%, as of right now, it sounds ultra nasty, but we'll fix that. So, if you just want to keep it like that, you can bump it up to a higher octave and it'll sound just fine. But, I don't want to do that, so... Eh, no, nah, I'm not feeling that sub right now. However, you definitely want to add white noise to a trap sound. This is the trick that people like Party Next Door and Bryson Tiller use to get more energy in their songs. It is one of the most important things you can do. So, I'm going to put a low-pass filter on everything. Uh, I'm going to hollow it out. Not turning up. Okay, yeah. So, two each, you want to detune both of them. So, this is when the FX tab is really going to come into play. So, first thing I'm going to do is detune the ever living crap out of it and just max out a lot of stuff in the hyper dimension tab. What this does is it gives it more width, and I'm going to get into width later, but uh, when it comes to making trap bells, you want to have really wide sounds so uh, distortion I'm gonna turn this to soft clip turn the drive up to about 57% so course it'll just make your sound wider I don't normally mess with it that much if you want to mess with it more detailed you can but I'm not going to wider sound delay you guys know what that does it makes it so that it will repeat the sound so that it's an echo. That's, yeah, reverb. Reverb is one of the biggest things you can do. I'm going to turn the size all the way up, turn up the low cut to like 15%. I wish it had actual values on it, but oh well, what am I going to do about that? Uh, I'm going to set that to 80%. So now we have this really big sound, but 
still has that nastiness to it. Now, time to show you the most important thing to do on the trap belt. You want to go down to the filter tab and you want to put another low pass filter on it. Now it is just mostly reverb and like, well, not mostly reverb, but it, it's big. It is a big sound. You know, I like that. Uh, okay, I like having that oscillator there. I like it. Uh, so now I'm going to go into the matrix tab and give it a m even more trap sound. So change this to the sine wave. Uh, yeah, this is one of the easiest things you can do to make your trap bell sound interesting. So both ways, one and destination, global, master tuning. And then Okay, normally that sounds a lot better. That explained the problem with it. I had it changed it back, but what this does is it makes it so that it is never actually in tune. It makes it really dissonant, and it really helps with all that. So now, this is something I also like to do. Auto-tune on it. This is going to be weird, but uh, eh, have... I might put on my knob vocal effects because that's how I figured this out. But uh, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to uh, I'm just going to cut out. Uh, yeah, like G minor. And now it's bending a lot because of that auto-tune, and it's making it sound really tense. This is one of the many things you can do, so I'm going to keep on working on the sound. Oh wow, that is, okay, that has like an ethereal sound, like, I don't know how to describe it, but, uh, I really like this sound, so, back to, Okay, 
Now time to explain everything I just did there. So to work on the sound, you always want to turn off the effects like that because it messes with the profile of the sound. So I just turned this down one octave and put this up like two octaves so that it would have a different sound. But um, anyways, now time to go over some things that you don't necessarily have to like things that you can use on your sound. So what I like to do is I like to make really wide sounds and then because most of your stereo separation is going to be going on in the high end, you just cut out the high end so that it's like the stereo separation and the stereo sounds they're trying to get through, but they just can't. So only the mono sounds come out. So it makes it so that the reverb sounds really strange. Now, let's go over more things we can do. So uh yeah convolver i like it. i do not use regular fruity reverb just because i don't think it is the best uh corridors get this you turn off the dry so it this is something that won't work on all sounds but for many of them you're actually able to just make it so that it's all reverb and it has a really weird sound that I happen to like. Yeah, that's a personal taste one. Um, I'm going to pop a cr compressor on it and just call it good. Um... Something big in hip-hop right now is over-compression. When I'm working on my initial compression, I'll just turn those all the way down initially. Actually, turning this all the way up would actually be better. And then... Solo the sound and... Find a good threshold... I'm gonna go for like nine and see how that sounds. Five milliseconds and I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, 50. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm starting to not like the pitch bend. But you want to add some sort of LFO to it so that it sounds more interesting. Otherwise, you end up with fairly bland sounds, and you just do not want bland sounds. So, actually, this, this might actually... Eh, no. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. Here is the final, like, the track now that everything has been done. And that is a big different, uh, no, not replace. That is a big difference compared to what we started with, with, uh, ooh, got a bunch. Consider. Here, wait, I can just use silence for it. The initialization is the exact same. And this is what we started with. Huge difference. Now, I hope you learned something today. This has been Omega SMG signing off.